It's a good day to have a great day. Woo! We need an update. How's the Miata going? How's the Miata? Hello everybody, my name is Kino Calawag and today we're doing the one year update of this video. How to buy a Miata with a now gonna drive. I don't know how to drive so how do you do the power um, reverse drive neutral? Like, cause that's a that's not a you're talking about the brindle. <laughs> Let's see what future Christian has to say about the Miata. But first, leave a like, share, comment, share, subscribe. So this is my car. Just kidding, it's this one. Haha. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Whoo, it's hot today. Hello everyone, it's a good day to have a great day. Let's go! Yeah, so a lot of you guys have been asking for a update on the Miata. What can I say? It's such a nice car. I love driving it, but it's been a year. So some pros and cons of the Miata um, that I like. I love how it makes me feel. You know, driving a car that you enjoy and that makes you feel good has such a difference on your mood. I get so many compliments from like like yesterday when I was filling up the gas station, this dude was like, hey, how long have you even had this Miata? Like, it sparks conversation, you know? Miata is always the answer. I love the color of the Miata. Every time I go to see someone, they're always like, wow, you have such a cool car. The only downside, I mean, there's a couple of downsides. Let's, let's keep with the pros. The pros, it's so easy to drive. I learned, I learned how to drive this in like a week. In like a week, I was already on the freeways, going on little road trips. And um, it's just such a fun car. You're like in a little go-kart. You're just cruising around the street. Uh, manual is really easy to pick up. I mean, I was a little bit scared at first. When you learn it, it's just gonna be so much fun. Like driving stick keeps me awake. If, if, if I was driving automatic, I would just be falling asleep at the wheel. But don't, don't sleep and drive. Don't sleep and drive. But anyway, the downside to stick, you gotta pay attention. The, the pros of stick, you have to pay attention. <laughs> you won't get bored driving the Miata, I swear. It's so much fun to drive. But the learning curve wasn't even that hard. Like, it's, it's like, as soon as you pick it up, it's like riding a bike. Like, that, 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 switch, that, that, switch, switch, switch. And, and like, I don't even have to pay attention to my RPMs anymore. Oh my, I mean, you should, you should pay attention to your RPMs and your speed. But like, I feel like I've gotten so in tune with the Miata after driving it over this year that like, I can just listen. That's when I know how to switch, when to switch the gears. A couple of downsides of the Miata though, um, it is it is a small car. Like I can fit my guitar in here just fine. And like I can fit a couple things in the trunk. But you know, sometimes you wanna cruise around with your friends. There are a couple blind spots because of your like your your top. But I mean, it's such a small car that your mirrors kinda cover it over. Just double check every time you switch lanes, make sure you're switching, make sure you're checking over your shoulder. Um, even like scooting forward and like looking behind and stuff. I had to do a couple repairs on it because learning stick, I think I I injured, I, I mean, I think I damaged the engine a little bit. But that's just like how it goes, you know, it's a new car. Yeah, you're just getting to, to learn how to drive it. <laughs> Luckily, my AC works and it's like 90 degrees today. So it, it, it just feels, I feel like my air is being conditioned. I can't emphasize this so much of how much fun this car is to drive. Parallel parking is already kind of hard. Not for me. I'm different. I'm built different. With the manual, I'd say it's a little bit harder because of how, how you have to switch gears and, and you don't want to stall. Oh yeah, I want to say driving on the freeway. Driving on the freeway is, is really fun, but at the same time, it's kind of scary because when you're around like, like those semi-trucks, the semi-trucks are freaking scary because they're giant and you're you're like a little mini go-karts 
and if they don't see you, which which luckily my car is yellow, it could end up so bad, like so bad. Wee! Whoop! Oh my God, there's a semi! Please don't hit me! Please don't hit me! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Please, please do not hit me! Ah. Come on, like if I can learn the Miata, you can learn how to drive a manual on the Miata. Like if I. If I, who was never a car guy, like never ever knew anything, I still don't know anything about cars. I think it's it's smart to, to learn manual before you buy the car, but if you have a friend that already knows how to drive manual and can teach you, I'd say go for it, just buy the car. Buy, buy the car that you want, buy the car that you, th you want to learn how to drive. Just go for it. Be as human as you can be. Learn all the skills that you can. It's never too late to learn. I'm only 90 years old, but I still learn how to drive the Miata. I think you'll gain such an important skill. Because I also drive the, an automatic, like I still have the RAV4. But my awareness on the road has increased so much. And if manuals aren't good for you, like if you don't want to learn manual, that's cool too. There are automatic Miatas. <laughs> I don't know, I've just been converted to Miatas. Like, I love my Miata so much. I would I would want to have like all the versions, just collect them all. Like I choose you. They're just it's just such a nice car to ride. It's so smooth. It's not intimidating like a Mustang or or anything else. It's it's slow. It's slow, but you feel fast. You feel so fast in this. But if you are looking for a beginner manual car, I think Mi Miatas are like the perfect answer. You can get an NA and NB. I haven't I haven't ridden an NC or an ND yet but they're so fun to drive. The community around them is very nice. They'll help you with anything. Just join like the, the Facebook groups, the Reddits. They, anytime you see a Miata in the street, it's just like, wow, it's another Miata, I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, I feel like Jeep owners have the same way when they do like the, I don't know what the hand sign is or whatever. <laughs> I love driving this thing! It's been so fun reading all your comments, seeing all your excitement about getting your Miata or your new stick ship, or, or even learning how to hurry drive. Because literally, I was the same way. I was so excited. I'm still so excited to drive this stick ship. I was so excited to learn, finally be able to have my own car. But I feel you guys, I, I, I really do. Thank you for sharing all your stories. I hope to hear more. Be as human as you can be. It's a good day to have a great day. Leave a like, share, comment, share, subscribe. Did you miss me?